Hello and welcome to Real Talk with Stacey Renee. I'm so glad that you could be here to listen to us today, get some education. And I would love to introduce Mark from Media Hero. Welcome, Mark. Hey, Stacey. How are you doing today? <laughs> I'm fantastic. Lots of things going on out there in the world and uh, finding some great coping mechanisms and things that you can provide to us. I think it's really going to be informational and helpful to everybody out there. Um, but before we get started, if everyone who is watching this or just coming in, uh, please make sure that you like and also leave some comments. That would be helpful that we can reach out to you, provide information back. If you love the information that we're providing, then let us know. I mean, that's what's going to make us better, right? Right, Mark? That's right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Mark from Media Hero, I would love if you could give us an overview of what you do. Well, Media Hero is a content provider, and what that means is I make uh, either video or still photographic content that can be used for any type of marketing needs or an individual's needs. So I will, uh, a client will come to me, whether it's an individual, a mm -hmm. small business, a corporation, or a brand, and what I do is I deliver agency-level content at prices that work within their budgets. That is phenomenal. Now I will have to brag a little bit about you. I have worked with you in the past and you shot a phenomenal promo ad for a corporation, uh, Catalyst XL, who does mobile apps. And I have to tell you, the way that you put everything together, um, I clearly couldn't visualize it, but the way that your brain worked and you have the expertise, we got a lot of views and a lot of people who reached out from what I understand from that video that you put together. It was phenomenal. Well, you know, we had a really tight timeline on having to put that together. Mm -hmm. And uh, Mark Russell, who was the person who uh, is part of the Catalyst team that reached out to me, he and I have done a lot of work before together in mm -hmm. the past. And he expressed to me that we need to do this, and it needs to be produced by next Friday. And this was I think, the <laughs> Wednesday night. And I think that's when I, after I got off the, the conversation with Mark, I reached out to you immediately because mm -hmm. we needed someone that needed to be the, the hero of the story, so to speak. <laughs> well, I appreciate that reach out. And, you know, and I think in today's society and what we deal with is we want now, 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 right? Yeah. And I think that that's just uh, a catalyst for what you can do. I mean, for you to be able to put that promo ad together so fast and make it happen really is a testament of your expertise, your professionalism, and that you can turn it around in, in that last minute need. Well, and part of it is also is that the people that you surround with you on those moments is that you, you need to trust the professionals. And sure. while we surrounded ourselves with the people that we knew that could work under a deadline situation and excel in that department mm -hmm. as well. And, and also have some fun in the, in the, in the process because, well, uh, this is a very fun business and there's no question about it. And though it's, it's, it can be uh, taxing and hard work and, and maybe sometimes frustrating, ultimately is it very enjoyable. And, and look who I got to work with. I got to work with you and my friend Mike Lowe's and, uh, yeah. and Mark Russell and, I and have I was, this perma grin on my face because I we did have a lot of laughs. <laughs> it's yeah. just like I just the memories are great and it was a lot of fun. And we had a great location too, right? I mean that was beautiful. We did, we did. You no, know, it just kind of fell on our laps. Yes, it did. So well done. So outside of your um, medial hero for this, I also understand that you work with OCC. Would you mind telling us what you do, how you provide the services? Which is OCC is Oakland Community College. Yes, I am an adjunct professor at OCC, and I have been since around 2000 or so. And what I uh, instruct is either a beginning digital photography class or a traditional uh, black and white and darkroom class. Mm -hmm. And while as this COVID-19 uh, breakout occurred, like for everyone else, uh, OCC had to stop having face-to-face -face instruction. And we had right. to come up with a solution. And when I say we, because I'm an adjunct, I'm working hand in hand with the, the chair of the department that I'm, I'm working in, in the photography department. And 
he and I, he, he knows that I have a lot of media experience and mm -hmm. I'm working with multiple levels of media. And we had to come up with a solution to reach students, not only the uh, digital class, but uh, the black and white darkroom class where they were not able to use the darkroom because we right. had to shut that down, you know. So we came up with a, a plan. Now I'm going to share my screen right now because I Perfect. think this is really interesting on relative to what we had to do. What we ended up doing is we used Flickr as a way for students to both join and upload all of their images. Oh, and then very have, cool. Look at that. Then, and then have a way. Now this is all the students' work that's right here. And this mm -hmm. is just the first week of the students' uploading images and we had to get them comfortable on working with it because many of them though they are savvy in the social media world Flickr is not the choice typically of the age group that we're instructing what we're trying to have them communicate is what their personal human experience is we want them to get right to the story we really want it to be like it's a documentary you know mm -hmm. that's the thing I that saw the puppy and it made me smile <laughs> see, just we spoke with here Aww. Okay, so here, though, this is really nice. This still may need to be developed a little bit more. And the nice thing about social media is, is that you are able to change as you go relative to the, 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 the three remaining weeks. We want them to create mm -hmm. 10 images, ultimately, and then write about what those 10 Im images are. Okay. So if you're not in the OCC program, is there, I mean, you could utilize this in other ways. Businesses could, correct? Oh, absolutely. Yes. So how outside of the OCC, how could businesses use this for the structure of their company or for their employees or how could we deploy this just to give them some ideas? Well, I think um, like any social media, it gives a little bit of a forum on being able to talk about themselves on mm -hmm. who they are, um, providing some content on what they have that talks about their culture, for mm -hmm. example, you know where it doesn't have to be heavy hitting sales, but it's just a matter of like, this is who we are, and this is how we act within our own walls, so to speak. And here is the, the person that may be the CEO and giving a little bit more of a warm and fuzzy, so you have an idea that there's actually a culture with inside the, uh, the four walls um, of whatever that company agency may happen to be. Right, so do you have something else that you wanted to show us or you wanna bring us back up? Right. Well, maybe that'll give other businesses some ideas of what they could, you know, cultivate in their culture right now that they need for their business that could help extend out or, you know, other businesses to keep things going. And, you know, and if you were jumping right to it, which is great that you guys found that outlet for the students. Um, very creative. Well, and it's interesting because it just happened to be a conversation that we were having in a Zoom meeting. And... Uh -huh. You know, at the end of it, and I just kind of said, well, I'm off to doing and documenting what I need, to, what's happening in my own quarantine time, you know? Right. <laughs> <laughs> and totally understandable. Said, that's it. That's it. That's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to have students communicate yeah, exactly. their human condition and during this quarantine. And then we developed it. So well, well done. Well done. Yeah. So hopefully between the OCC, um, you know, businesses can also use that as a resource. I think that's uh, a new idea for them, which right now that's what we have to provide to everybody is, you know, nobody planned for this and it's kind of a shock to all of us and um, we've got to do the best that we can. So going back to your media hero, yes. what kind of services or what could you provide during the COVID uh, outbreak or epidemic that we're experiencing? Well, I think one of the most topical things, because the Zoom now has actually been just blowing up for everybody. Everyone that I talk to is now in a Zoom meeting, whether they've ever used right. it before in the past or not. It's, it's, it's part all of their, new to me. <laughs> it's, it's part of their reality. And I am able to facilitate on, on a back end process of uh -huh. uh, being able to record the meeting and then uh, maybe put some B-roll relative to whatever that discussion may happen to be and provide a video copy of what that meeting is. So if some people may not have been able to be part of the meeting, now they have something that they can react to and mm -hmm. it can be sent out to everybody. And it doesn't have to be the whole content of what was being discussed, but the highlights of it. 
and working with whomever was the facilitator of that meeting to make sure that I that I find those highlights and I create an edit at, at, that's meaningful. The content that is the uh, back end content may is content that's already available um, because they have it either in their library or maybe it's something that I can create too. Maybe mm -hmm. maybe it's a background that they want to have. Like for me, for example, during this, I created. Uh, um, a, a movie that's slowly changing images. And the one thing I wanted to make sure was, well, I wanted to brand myself, so I, I have a step and repeat that becomes one of the images that's on the background right now. That may be something that's very helpful too. I would love to be able to provide that level of service for someone to communicate. I don't have to participate, but I can record the meeting, take that off of their plate, and then give them an edit. That is great, especially with uh, how we need to kind of find alternative methods to communication and um, keep in the social distancing, but keep socially interacting with everybody so we don't go too crazy because I think that we're really starting to feel that now yeah. um, being so far into this. So I, pr I really appreciate all the info, info and insight that you've been able to provide to us. Is there anything else that you want to add? I think that's about all I was prepared to talk about, to tell you the truth. I can go off and ramble, but I don't think that's really going to be appropriate. <laughs> that's okay. I know. I'm a, I'm a talker myself. <laughs> well, I really appreciate all of your time. And again, if you have any questions for Mark, please comment below. We will reach out or private message you to be able to respond. Um, but I'm sure if you're putting the question out there, other people have uh, the same question, then, you know, we can provide the answer. Okay, he can. Not, maybe not so much for me, but um, I really appreciate it. And Mark, if they want to get a hold of you, how, where would they go? Can you give your website name, your phone number? What would your best preference? Uh, yeah, the them? best way to find me is go to MediaHero.com. And I have a contact Example. page that has my all of my contact information. There is a portal where you can send me a note that comes right to my, my home inbox and then I'd be happy to communicate and start a conversation and then see how we can build a, a professional relationship and help you out. F fantastic. I'm really glad. Thank you so much. And again, if you just joined us, I appreciate your time, whether you're listening to this in the morning, afternoon, night, if you can't sleep, you're in the middle of the night. Uh, hopefully this helps you and educates you a little bit more. I'm Stacey Monet with Real Talk, and you can't lead a positive life with a negative mind. And until then, don't cost you neutral, positive shift ahead.